Welcome back, ladies, to the Grown Women's Table. Ladies, y'all, your girl is happy. And I hope you're happy, too. I finally got my Fenty products in the mail. I'm happy, but not happy. I'm happy because it, they came. But I'm not happy because I got the wrong color, y'all. The wrong color. This is um in the color 360. So we're not going to even really talk about this because I want to actually do a review on it in the right shade. So I'm going to have to send that back. But what I do have is the lip gloss. Guys, y'all know I'm a gloss girl, so this was right up my alley. But I wanted to show you guys, um, let you know how, first of all, I like the, the applicator. Do you see how big it is? It's perfect for, you know, bigger lips. Beautiful. And it, it does have a smell. It's sweet. I can't tell you. Y'all you know, know I ain't good with that stuff. So it's just sweet smelling. But y'all, this is some really good lip gloss. It's not tacky. I mean, you know how your lips can stick together? It's not that. And I wore it. And after wearing it, my lips felt conditioned almost. Like they were really soft. But um, a lot of people are like, oh, it's just a clear gloss. I can get it anywhere. No, because sometimes on beauty supply store glosses, honey, you might want to be careful. I ain't throwing no shade at beauty supply, but hmm, yeah, don't know what all those ingredients are. But anyway, I want to show you guys how um, to wear this and more than just wearing it as a lip gloss. There's several ways you can wear it, but I'm going to go ahead and put it on. They can see y'all. The blingage, the shine is insane. You see that? And it ain't like you gotta keep going over and over and over it to get that look, to get that. And I'm gonna bring y'all in a little bit to get that shine. So, so pretty, y'all. You see that? So, this, of course, is one way to wear it. But then you can also take, I'm going to take um, my Bittersweet Liner from MAC. And I'm just going to um, line it. And this is another way you can wear it. To get a little, little color to it. And you see how it's just glowing on? Kind of like ombre in it. You can just do like a little ombre. Give it a little color. So pretty. And then you can also, I'm not going to even wipe it off, y'all. We're just going to keep rolling. You can also take it, and I figured out, you can make your own colors. We know how you have lip glosses, right? So why not take a lip liner? I'm going to use this one by MAC called Brick. It's red. We're just going to put it on top of here. And I'm, I already have the lip gloss on, of course. And we're just going to fill our lips in on top of the lip liner. On top of the lip gloss, I mean. You see that? And But do you see the shine with it? That's what I'm talking about. It's the most prettiest look. Now you can make, take any lip gloss, lip um, liner you have, whatever favorite color, and you just basically made you a pretty lip gloss. Put that Fenty Glow down, and then put your lip gloss, your lip liner, and fill in your lips on top of it. Now you have your own personalized lip gloss. Especially if you, especially in the summertime, y'all. This is going to, I wear lip glosses a lot, but mainly in the summer. But you can even do this in the wintertime, too. You can take any color you want. And then, of course, uh, another way you can do it is, let me take this off. We can put it simply on top of a lip gloss. I mean, not a lip gloss. Y'all, y'all know what I mean. Put it on top of a lipstick. Uh, we're going to use Max Whirl. And this is a matte um, lipstick. And then just take, of course, this beautiful lip gloss. Now, isn't that pretty? And now I also wanted to show you, since we're doing lips, we're going to do it with a liquid lipstick. And this is Milani Sugar. 
Okay, so I went and I put it on and I let it dry down. I wanted it to actually dry down some before I put it on top. But y'all, just take it. Now you see how this look, sometimes those liquid lipsticks can kind of look dry and crusty, you know? But if you put your lip gloss, which I do all the time anyway, but I haven't, I don't have a lip gloss. I, well, I didn't have a lip gloss in my collection that had this much shine to it. So we're going to just put it on top. Like I did before. Ooh, ooh. And you don't need a lot. I'm just kind of dabbing it on. Look at that, y'all. Tell me that ain't cute. Tell me this ain't cute. So if you were thinking about if you should get the Fenty um, lip gloss, what's it called? I said it earlier, the Fenty Glow. Guys, I recommend this because if you like lip glosses, this is, y'all, this is a good lip gloss. I don't know how they did it. I don't know how in the world they formulated it so it could be so shiny but not sticky. It's the bomb. So I just showed you a few different ways you can use it. So you can definitely get your $18 worth. All right, guys, please, if you are subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit the bell so you'll be notified when I um, upload a video. And to all of my new subscribers, I see you and I appreciate you. And if you haven't subscribed yet, girl, hit that button so that I can save you a seat at the grown women's table. And until the next video, bye-bye, ladies.